This is all half inch plate glass. Pretty thick stuff, hard to cut. Uh, and very sharp. Um, what I'm doing, yesterday you saw me grinding a big thick piece of glass. Those are basically pieces that I'm using for the base of my sculpture. And pretty much, just going to show you how one of these things are cut. I'm going to cut this on the other side because I get a little more dramatic look on the uh, other side, which will be up. So just using a glass cutter here. Typically when you're cutting tabletops and things like that, you try to get a real nice cut so the uh, edge work is minimal. But uh, in this sculpture, I'm, I like the very erratic chipped cut because again, this is going to be an underwater sculpture. And uh, I like to have, you know, a pretty fluid looking thing and all the little facets catch the light. Um, as you can see over here, I got some blue glass in there, which well, I talked about that yesterday. Um, I can get some of these thick pieces broken with the hammer, but uh, the, the thinner the edge, the hammer will not work in some spots. So um, I'll take, try to take this piece off here. Oh yeah. These little thin spots here, like I say, they got to come out in chunks. But that's kind of cool because, like I say, that's that's a look that I want because I want it to be chipped. Like I say, these edges are very, very sharp. Um, here's another piece that I could probably get out um, with the hammer, maybe. Hey, that piece came off of there. Stuff's a bear to cut. <clears throat> Don't try this at home. One time I did this and a piece like that came off and I pulled down I went right across my leg through my jeans and I had to take a little trip to the hospital. That's why I keep my leg back far. And I got one more chip to take out of here. So now I got my piece cut. You can see I'm going to lay it here. This is the base of my sculpture. And um, this is going to be the top piece of the base. And see this, like I said, this, this thing is going into a niche, which is going to be about 48 inches tall. This is my, the cardboard is the size of my base that I have to work with. And just so you can kind of get uh, an idea of what's happening here, this is going to be one side. The sculpture is going to make, be made out of two individual pieces that together are going to make one sculpture. These are pieces that we hand blue. 
and we'll try to get some video of the uh, blowing of some of the pieces. These are Mirini. We make every little one of those pieces and these are some fun pieces that are going to be going, you know, on the sculpture. I also do a lot of restoration work on glass, particularly a lot of Italian glass. And if a piece comes in broke and it can't be fixed good, I throw it in the junk pile and I save it for sculptures like this. So there'll probably be some fans on here. We hand blow these little jellyfish. I have to do some grinding where this was connected to the uh, blowpipe, but there's going to be jellyfish swimming around on this sculpture. And also some fish swimming around. So we uh, have to hand blow some fish. And so um, this, like I say, this is going to be the left side. On the right side we have, there's another piece of glass that's going to come up. It's going to overlap a little bit. And there again, there's going to be rocks and reef and that whole bit going on on that side also. So great. That's what we got to, for today. And um, um, we'll get back, back to uh, photographing a little more when something else exciting happens. Thanks.